Hello students, let's go ahead with the next module of clause analysis. Now, what have we learned so far students? We have learned how to identify the main clause and the subordinate clause and then we came to the step where we said we are going to identify the type of subordinate clauses with the help of questions. Let us now go on to see how to do that. Okay, And we will do it with these three examples which we have already taken. So let's see the first one. I knew that he is happy. Students, we have already seen how to identify main clause and subordinate clause. I will not go into those details again. Let's quickly mark the main clause. I knew main clause that he is happy subordinate clause now students we know that we have to identify which type of subordinate clause and for that we have to ask the question to the main clause in order that we get the answer as the subordinate clause the questions are as follows what when where how which so if you get the answer for what it is noun if you get the answer for which it is adjective clause if you get the answer for when where how these are adverb clauses of time place manner respectively here i knew now which question can i ask to this particular part so that i get the answer as the subordinate clause simple students here we have to ask the question what to the main clause what did i know and the answer is the subordinate clause that he is happy here students because it answers the question what it is a noun clause so we write the answer this way i knew main clause that he is happy subordinate noun clause let's take another question when i went home i slept we know already i slept is the main clause when i went home is the subordinate clause now what do we do we have to ask the question among these questions here. What, which, when, where, how. Which is the question that will suit here? So here if we ask the question when to the main clause. When did I sleep? The answer is the subordinate clause when I went home. So very clear students. It answers the question when. Therefore it is adverb clause of time. How do we write the answer? This way. I slept main clause when I went home subordinate adverb clause of time students let's go on to the next one now the bird which was in a cage flew away very simple no students you see you follow the steps and you will get all your answers right okay so the first thing the main clause here we know it is divided into two parts the bird flew away so that's the main clause now which was in the cage here it is the subordinate clause so now we have got this as the subordinate clause of course we select our questions from here what which when where how and the question that will suit here is which so how do you ask the question which bird flew away and the answer is the subordinate clause which was in the cage now students because it answers the question which it is clearly an adjective clause how do you write the answer the bird flew away main clause which was in a cage subordinate adjective clause simple students and what have we seen here we have seen that if you ask the question what and the answer is the subordinate clause then definitely it is the noun clause if you ask the question which and the answer is in the subordinate clause then it is adjective clause if you get an answer with the question where it is adverb clause of time when it is adverb clause of time where it is adverb clause of place how it is adverb clause of manner now if the subordinate clause does not answer any of the above questions then it is one of the remaining adverb clauses that is reason purpose contrast condition comparison and result very clear students here these three types of adverb clauses we are going to get with the help of the questions when where how but the remaining six types of adverb clauses we are going to get with the help of subordinators how is that going to be possible we shall see that very soon students let's go ahead with a small exercise now the exercise says identify and analyze the clauses just what we have done okay let's take this sentence the rose asked the pine what the birds were doing simple students those three steps quickly identify the subordinator what then we identify the finite verbs that is asked and were doing 
students the next step separate the main clause and the subordinate clause subordinate clause starts with the subordinator there it starts with what and it will end before the second finite verb now look at this were doing students it is not two different finite verbs huh? were doing together is a finite verb there so there's only one finite verb therefore the bracket will close at the end so that's your subordinate clause and the remaining part the rose as the pine is the main clause third important step you remember we said to identify the type of subordinate clause ask the question to the main clause so that the answer is the subordinate clause what are your questions here what which when where how we know that now which question is going to be suitable here you have to ask the question what how do you ask the question what did the rose ask the pine the answer is of course here what the birds were doing so it is the noun clause therefore how do you write the answer the rose asked the pine main clause what the birds were doing subordinate noun clause let's quickly take another one i always felt his presence as if he was my grandfather now again quickly the subordinator as if students here it is not just as or if it is together as if okay now this is the subordinator next we go to the finite verbs felt and was let's do the next step identify the subordinate clause separate the subordinate clause starting with the subordinator here as if subordinate clause starts with as if and ends with grandfather that is before the second finite verb here there is no second finite verb so till the end it is the subordinate clause and of course i always felt his presence is the main clause third step identify the type of subordinate clause by asking the question to the main clause so that the answer is the subordinate clause simple students what which when where how these are the questions that you're going to ask so how are you going to ask the question here here you will say how did i feel his presence the answer is as if he was my grandfather so definitely it answers the question how here and it is adverb clause of manner so i always felt his presence main clause as if he was my grandfather subordinate adverb clause of manner simple students we have already seen how to identify main clause and subordinate clause then noun clause adjective clause and three types of adverb clauses that is adverb clause of time place and manner how do we identify the remaining types of adverb clauses we shall do that in just the next module thank you